Since Wednesday, crews have restored power to 80,000 affected customers, but still around 4,000 people in the Birmingham area woke up without service this morning. We are committing all of our resources to getting folks turned on just as quickly as we can. The Kenzie apartment complex, one of many hard hit places where dead trees fell across power lines. Windy conditions made the job tough. They're not heavy gale force winds, but they're still strong enough that there are safety concerns about putting somebody in a bucket and putting that bucket way high in the air. Power crews restored late last night at Grand Highlands at Mountain Brook Apartments, but workers there still had a mess to clean up today. Well, the first thing I saw this morning, my boss and one of the uh, on the, other, the other maintenance guys out here working on working on it. So I uh, pretty much went in and clocked in and came out here and started getting to it. Trees down, a large pine landed across the lawn and on the roof of the complex and debris on the road. I was actually uh, very surprised, you know, cause, uh, I didn't think it would be as severe as it would be. But then come to find out, you know, that a big old tree blew down. Crews are still out working and Alabama Power says that they anticipate all power will be restored by tonight. Imagine